Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart with me, Banto. So we're back here in my town, Hope's Haven. And uh, today we're gonna make a storage house, we're gonna give a go and try to make a good one. And I think that we might make it close to like the latest house that we made here where we got our little basement downstairs. Probably gonna fit in a few more things, might be changing a little bit with this later on as well. So we can make it look a little bit better than this for the moment and we might do something here as well. The thing I'm a little bit concerned with the storage house is that I want to have like a decent size in it. So I'm not sure if it should be on this spot or if I should like go at this side. I think it might actually be better to go here. So maybe we should do that. And actually we could probably make that pretty cool. Like if we make a storage house here and then we make like a deck here. It could be, you can imagine almost like it would be connected maybe with this as well. And it would be like an harbor, whatever you call it. Would it be like trading in between here? I mean, it's a decent size uh, lake this, and I just saw a thing I've never seen in the game before. I only seen screenshots on this, so I'm not sure where this is exactly. We got some, a crypt constructed by the Phoenix Empire. And I would guess that these guys are not very friendly. Here lies the member of the Black Cord. So I would guess that these guys are not very friendly. Very, very cool house though. Looks really awesome. So let's see, we should go and plan this, but I just want to check why do we see over here? There must be some reason why you see over here, like, some people are over here, I don't know why we see there. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, start with this house, so, probably gonna make this deck thing like I was talking about, but uh, we're gonna start with making, like, this, uh, you know, storage house. We had a basement for this recently, but I think for this storage house, we're probably not gonna have a basement. So, we're gonna make it, like, overground the entire thing for this. And we're probably gonna make like a custom roof for this as well. Invade us. Oh, that's a guide wolf. Terrifying large and toothy. Yeah, William's coming over. I hope it's gonna be enough, but you know, I'm not risking anything, so I'm bringing everybody over. After the death of La Violet before, I really don't want anyone to die for like... Bad reasons, you know? But it looks like William's taking care of pretty good of him. Almost lost no health and the wolf is down half health. Very, very nice. You got a bronze breastplate and a decent weapon. We probably should make like swords and stuff with like from the blacksmith soon, I hope. Come and help from Aiden and Moon. Don't you? That was, was nice. I'm not sure if this wolf drops anything. Maybe they dropped a pelt. Oh, nothing, okay. At least a little bit of XP, I guess. So let's see how we should make this. I kind of want to have something like extra over this side since we're going to make it like uh, for a trading dock thingy here. So I'm thinking about that uh, it's going to like stick out a little bit. At least on one side, but I think I actually want to have it stick out, out on both sides. And let's see, I think seven, yeah? Eight. So I think we remove one for this side. That should be pretty good. We're going to make custom room for this. So hopefully it's going to be looking pretty good. Let's see how, how this would look if we add some walls to it. Probably going to go with dark walls. I think that's going to be the best looking for these little storage houses we're going to have down here. So we should be able to fit in a lot of things here. And I mean, the good thing is that it would be trading here. And it could be in for like our town square as well. Oh, that would look weird. But, you know, the resource can go between a lot of different places, and it's fairly close to, like, a weaver as well. We should probably check in on soon and see what he's actually doing, what is Hugo doing. He's level 3 weaver, so he's probably doing a pretty good job. Okay, so let's continue with this house. So, I think before we do any windows and stuff, we maybe should go for up to the second floor. One thing that we might do, though, is to create this, like, stair, at least parts of it. So I think we're gonna make one of these roundish ones. We're gonna make this free and width. We might have maybe should have made this like tune width because this will take up a lot of space. And we really want to have a lot of free space since we're gonna you know try to store things in this place. But we're probably also gonna have like some uh, crates outside here as well, because I think that looks good for when you wanna have a dock and stuff like that. Jesus Maestro, all red level 2, that's great. Let's see, we're gonna go for this. I'm not sure if we should have like any like overhang things for this really. It should definitely be 2 store at least. 
I think maybe we should not have an overhang for this. The only side could be like a this side, I would, I would guess. But I don't really feel like we should have it. So for this house, we're actually going to skip that. So it's gonna go up like this, I think so at least. Or maybe we should uh, let let's go for a different go, just you know to experiment a bit. And I got some uh, also tips, but uh, you know if you let's see if this works. If for example I accidentally put one of those, I should be able to go here and use the rubber tool, and it works. I only knew it actually worked for like the doors and the windows, so that's really 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 helpful. So thanks a lot for that. So what we're gonna do here is to remove everything we have going out here. So that way we can, you know, make the walls go here. And then we can actually make a roof here directly that connects into the wall of that. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be looking good, but I wanna... I wanna give it a try at least. It might be looking hideous, we will see. So let's see, we have to remove a little bit out of here because we gotta make sure that our stair is gonna come up here. Let's see, a reach in the top. I think we can go with something like that. Should be pretty good. So this should be a, a little bit of storage place at least. I mean, there's only gonna be storage in here, so it should be pretty good. So let's see if we can get a good color for this. I think that looks pretty good. It might be a little bit dark, but uh, we're gonna go for that one. Go for a different one now? No. So we're gonna do the same for this side. Something like that, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what uh, color we should have for this roof, actually. We might go for like... Um, let's try to go for, a, you know, a dark roof. Because we have so many other colors, like we have red, we have blue, so to make this stick out, we're actually gonna make this color like almost black, very very dark gray. I wonder if we should have so it like... Let's see how it would look if um, we add here. I'm gonna do the same for this side. I think that can look pretty good actually. I think we should have this thing actually. Okay, so let's see here. How should we go for? We should have a door. Cause, okay, so that's good. I want to have a, a wide door, so that's really good. It fitted together. And let's see. Windows. We should have some for this, I think. Maybe we should try this window. Because this fits in better, so let's try that out. Oh, okay, the food is at least going up. If you saw the previous episode, the food was going down so much, you know, when I started to make a lot of cooking, it went down for some reason. I mean, it should go up. If you make, like, real food, it should go be going up. So I'm not really sure why why it went down. So we're gonna have some windows over this side. Shouldn't really have too many windows. I don't think should have too many windows when it's a storage house. So just gonna have, like, two at these sides. Something like that should be pretty good. We could actually add a third one just to see how it will look. Like, have one of these long one. That's pretty good. And let's see for the top here. I think I want to have the roof, you know, the opposite direction as this is. But you know, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna experiment and we're gonna see if it looks good. If it looks bad, we're not going to do it. So let's see here. Let's add uh, to prepare for the roof. Let's check out the rugged survivalist soon. I bet we have a lot, a lot of things that you know that I want to sell. So, Let's see, there we go. Let's check it out. Uh, maybe we want to buy some bundle of wool. We have a lot of uh, gold, so I'm gonna buy a couple of them. Let's buy all that. So we're gonna sell some flowers. I always get you know too many flowers, so we're gonna sell a couple of them. Almost all of them, because, you know, they took up, like, 90 space, you know, that's a lot for just having, like, flowers lying around. It's gonna regrow anyway, so... So let's see how this roof will look. We could add, like, a porch in the middle. Uh, not a porch, what is it called again? A dormer, I think. 
We will see if we're gonna do that, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, we could give it a try, why not? Let's do it. Let's put it in the middle. And I'm actually gonna do this a little bit different than I've done the latest time, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be like working out good or not. We're actually not gonna be, you know, a dormer. It's basically gonna be like the, the roof is gonna, you know, get connected here as well. So we're just gonna see so it matches 9 for that side, and here we got 7, so it's the wrong. We're gonna have to go one more at uh, this side here. Okay, so when it's like, I think it was 8, probably gonna do it wrong, who knows. 9 there. No, we're not changing the wall. Let's remove a little bit. Keep something like that. Get 9 to that. Eight that. If we, I think if we, I'm recoloring stuff. It's so annoying. Let's see. Go back here and let's see how this will look. I think we needed to add one more there. Something like that. So let's check it again. Eight for that side. You see, it's jumping between different things. I think it's because you like select these things, it jumps between different things. So we get eight there as well. So let's see here, we're gonna add this roof. Gonna go for dark one as well this time. But I mean, it is really, you know, it is really, really fun to experiment with these custom roofs. You can get so many like different uh, types of houses with it. Should go in like that. I hope it's gonna be looking good. I think it might look pretty good. And I also got uh, suggestion a couple of times, by the way, to check out the game. It's called Timber and Stone. It's pretty similar to this game, and uh, I would say that it's a little bit more advanced than this game is. And I think I might actually soon make videos with it. We will see. So let me know, guys, if there are any more like interest to see that game. And there will probably be some video pretty soon. I want to make some more, you know, videos of other games. I really, really love this game, guys. But uh, it would be fun, you know, to have some more games that you guys would enjoy to watch and so on. So let me know, guys, if there are, like, any specific game that you want me to, you know, play in the future. I will not stop playing this game because, you know, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to, you know, decorate in this game. So we're definitely going to keep going for this for a long, a long while. I was gonna check if we got some enemies, so let's go that. Oh, it's a large wolf again. Good Violet is not getting eaten at least. And uh, let's see. So it's always, you know, when making these roofs, you have to... You have to really look through so you make everything correct. Because it's so easy to miss a tiny little part or something, you know, becomes a little bit different, so for example, maybe we want to remove, so it's like that instead. I think that I, that might look better. So that should be pretty good. So now we're just going to get some, you know, windows. Windows going to make a big, big difference for this. So let's start by putting one in the middle. Maybe we can make uh, small ones. I'm not sure if this looks good to put it like that. It actually looks pretty good, I think. Jeez, Maestro, level 3. Going good for you, man. Going good for you. Good to get up a little bit of farming skills, for sure. So, but this side should have some windows here. I'm not sure if we should. I think we might actually skip that and we go for, like, the back here. Three windows that side. Or should we have one? We can have, like, this one. Let's go for that. I think this house actually looks pretty good, actually. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this house. I mean, it looks pretty decent, I guess. I wonder how it would look if we took this whole thing around here. Like this black thing, dark thing. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Let's go over and see if we're doing this correct. It seems fine to me. And I mean, uh, we can actually add other things. So let's, uh, let's add some like crates and stuff. And we're actually gonna save this house. Oops, I'm gonna remove that. And I heard before that we've been 
like requests before for like um, getting like the houses and so on. So I might upload in the future so you guys can put out the houses as well. And I'm probably gonna remove from the ground because I clicked there. I don't know. I want to remove that one, but uh, let's go inside again. Well, maybe we should add it to once it's actually done. Let's let's add it to when it's done, to be honest. So we're just gonna save this house, and this is gonna be, I guess, large storage house. So once this is built, I think we're gonna start working on a dock here. I think it's gonna look pretty good. We might even make a boat later on, who knows? I made one boat so far and <laughs> making a boat really requires a lot of uh, skills, I would say. Definitely when you have like never ever like real done them. So we can instant build this, prevent bugs. And I think this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with this house. I like that they went for a different color for the roof. I really love how this town is coming together. It's starting to look so, so big. It really takes forever to make something in this game, but you know, once you get it there, it's like really, really good times, you know? Maybe we should make it so it actually goes this close. Just want to do, you know, some roads. Something like that should be pretty good. Hey, what happened there? Why did that get removed? That was weird. I, you know, I had this out and it's gone. Now it's there again. That's really weird. That's like the second time that happened to me. So we should definitely like have some light sources going on here. I think it would be a pretty good spot to have it under here. Probably should get some like some more lights. Like we made this one in the previous video. So we might make more of those. The lights really make your city look so beautiful at night. Let's check out how it looks with shadows. It looks so much better with it, but it also lags so much, so that's why I don't use it. Wow, guys, it's lagging so much. Not worth it. And let's go back a little bit with it, like this. I think it will be better. It's very, very laggy, but it looks very, very beautiful. So let's go back. No shadows. But yeah, I think this ended up pretty well, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know if you like this house. And in the next video, we're probably gonna, you know, start working on the dock here. And uh, we can add some crates in here. I'm not sure if we should make some kind of like crane thing for the dock or what we should do with it. We will see. But guys, let me know if you have like suggestions for heartlings as well. Because I'm out of name for female heartlings. So if you have female names for that. Feel free to drop it in the comments below and if you like this video feel free to like it and subscribe if you want to watch more Stoneheart and other gaming videos with me Banto. So thanks for watching, hope you had a good good time, hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day, take care.